Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. In 2003, the name of this highway was the Scenic Highway, Scenic Byway. And in 2005, uh, there were a group of citizens that uh, got together and uh, they wanted a voice in how this byway was managed. And primarily it was because the road is being reconstructed and a lot of people had strong feelings about how they wanted it reconstructed and what they wanted to see done. Uh, so in 2005, uh, the committee decided they needed a better name for the byway. And so we had a community contest and Lady Slipper Scenic Byway won. We are in Black Duck, Minnesota, and we're at the Lady Slipper Celebration to celebrate the showy Lady Slippers, which are located along the scenic highway, the Lady Slipper Scenic Byway. Call me up, say how you doing, that's not really like you, and I try to hurt to make you want me, but that's not gonna This is our first annual, so we're really excited to have a first time. You never know what to expect, so we're really excited to be here today. The event started with um, all the showy lady slippers that are located along the scenic byway, and they're doing some construction, and we wanted to save those, so there was a transplant project that currently they're in a holding area so that we preserve our state flower. And um, we decided we had gotten a grant or wrote for a grant to have this celebration here in Black Duck. We have a bus tour that'll take people out to actually view the showy lady slippers. They'll get off the bus and, and look at them and they can take photographs and that's what we ask that they take back with them, that they don't take this any um, plants with them. They're very rare. If you look on the left side of the bus, you'll see lady slippers here and there, not huge colonies, but there are some up on these hillside ditches. We've been um, working on a lot of different projects, signing projects, uh, what they call wayfinding projects where there's little signs so that you know that you're on the Lady Slipper Byway. Um, and those have all been funded through grants uh, from uh, Explore Minnesota Tourism, from the state of Minnesota, um, people that are promoting tourism in the area. Another thing our committee is really committed to is since there's road construction along the highway, um, we didn't want to see the lady slippers uh, fall to construction. So uh, in 2006, we assembled a group of uh, youth volunteers and uh, we GPSed uh, the lady slippers up and down the byway. And then we did it in 2007 and in 2008. And so we have the locations of almost all the lady slipper colonies that flowered that year. Um, on a computer, in a computer database, and we're working with the county who's reconstructing the road uh, to take special measures in those areas where there are lady slippers. Um, in areas where the construction, um, uh, we can't avoid destroying the lady slippers, uh, this group of volu youth volunteers la two years ago dug up a thousand clumps of showy lady slippers along the first seven miles of construction and we have them stored in in an area and once that construction is complete we're going to be putting them back along the highway and we've got it's there's a lot of details but we've got them all marked to where they came from and uh, we're hoping that we'll have a really good chance that uh, we'll have lady slippers after the construction along the byway uh, we have 22 miles of byway, and so the next seven miles um, is supposed to be started uh, this year. And we're going to have to dig up about a thousand clumps of lady slippers <laughs> this year, plus put the ones we dug up um, back on the first part of the highway. So we're, we've got a large, large uh, project that we need to accomplish. 
We are trying to establish this as an annual event for the community to promote tourism and the preservation of the showy lady slippers. We have about 11 art vendors in town and local businesses. Uh, the Senior Center is going to have ice cream sundaes and floats over at the Senior Center. Uh, somebody from Black Deck has actually made lady slipper cookies, so <laughs> you'll have to have one of those. <laughs> and then um, the local, uh, let's see, I think it's the Lions and uh, the Firemen are, uh, have food over at the food tent. We also have live music here by local uh, musicians from, we had a flute player and some singers and a band will top it off at the end of the day. And we have activities for the children, face painting and coloring of the lady slippers and just a good family event for people to come out and enjoy. In the fall, there's a seed pod on the top of the lady slipper, and there's tiny little seeds that disperse naturally. Uh, it takes approximately 16 to 20 years once that seed is planted uh, for the flower to show up. So um, they're a, a very um, delicate flower, plus the uh, ecosystem that they uh, inhabit um, has fungi and other um, organisms in the soil that allow it to um, to flourish and they have specific light requirements uh, they they don't like complete shade but you know they like just a little bit and uh, the soil they they like heavier soils clay loamy soils but on the southern end of the byway we do have lady slippers that are growing in sand Me and my folks, they're out there. They, uh, we just love doing this stuff, you know. I'm from up in this area, and uh, I actually live down in by St. Cloud right now. And we just come up camping. We just want to see this little brochure. It said Lady Slippers Festival. So I said, hey, let's go up there and go up camping. I'm going to go to the festival of Black This road is a national, natural preservation route. And it is going to be widened. It's um, right now. It's 11 foot lanes, and it's going to be 12 foot lanes with uh, six foot shoulders. So, and right now you you really don't have a shoulder <laughs> to pull off on. Uh, so, I guess it remains to be seen. In some of the areas where this road crosses the Pennington Bog uh, Scientific and Natural Area, and uh, it it really remains to be seen how that's going to ultimately affect the water flow through the wetland and um, hopefully the design of the road you know is going to uh, protect that water regime that runs underneath the road but I mean we're, we're really not sure. Yeah. They last approximately two weeks uh, from the time that they first bloom but some of them are blooming later than others they're in sunnier spots or shadier spots and so you might see lady slippers in different areas you know, up to four weeks from now. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.